First tonight, time's up for CMS to try and get hundreds of teaching positions filled before school starts. And school starts soon. Monday. Yeah. Today, the district confirmed they still have about 370 open teaching positions. That's actually higher than earlier this week when they reported needing 360. WCNC Charlotte's Samaria Morrison showing us how the district plans to deal with this issue. I'm at West Charlotte High School. Hallways are empty right now, but on Monday, hundreds of students will be right here making memories like the one you see on this mural. We spoke with CMS officials about the expectations and some of the hardships of the upcoming year. The CMS will welcome back about 141,000 students this year, but not all will have a permanent teacher. I can tell you that at our, some of our top schools, it's pushing approximately 18 vacancies at some of our larger comprehensive high schools. The CMS says they have a plan in place. A lot of guest teachers in place and we have 409 currently employed across the district with about 40 some openings. Um, they are in a much better position to be able to cover and be ready for classes and students on that first day of school. Funding for guest teachers will eventually run out and are not a permanent solution to replace certified teachers. So you do not have to hold an advanced degree or any type of degree. Um, you have to basically have a passion and an interest for being in the classroom with students and supporting students. Teacher vacancies are not the only thing CMS is combating this year. They also need bus drivers. We currently have about 45 vacancies with over 30 drivers in the pipeline. Yeah. CMS says even with these vacancies, up to 95% of classrooms are filled and all bus routes will go out on Monday. The department has completed inspections, maintenance routines, cleaning, and practice runs. As far as teachers go, those who are there are ready to welcome students back into the classroom. Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.